Well, the concept is uh, that you take what you have and apply it to the area you've got. Because uh, you could say you must apply five tons of compost in hectare, but that's kind of a, a standard uh, European approach. Um, according to the cooking book, but uh, but here we, we have to deal with what you have. So any gram of biomass you add to the soil improves the soil. So, and it was clear yesterday also from the workshop that um, the workforce is limited and biomass is limited. So you, we don't want to distract the farmers from, from growing tea. So we take the biomass which is easily available, um, which is not used um, for, for for other purposes because we don't want to compete with fodder for the animals or, or uh, burning wood for, for, make, for, for cooking. So we take what we have and apply it. This, we will receive more material like the green lying over here or, or some manure. So I assume that's going to be about um, two and a half to three cubic meters of biomass. We kind of have to produce compost, which will shrink a little bit during the composting uh, process, but it will lead to about um, one and a half tons of compost, I guess. And this is, um, this is a fairly good amount, let's say for, for an acre which is the average farm size um, of, of, this, uh, of this cooperative. It, it's got two benefits because uh, if you would look around here, you see it's quite a hilly um, environment and labor is short. So uh, if you carry tons and tons of compost through the tea garden, it's, it's simply not possible also to apply it. Um, so what we do is to have a, an, an base base application of, of some solid compost to create some soil structure and to kind of inoculate the soil with potential microbes mm. but then the, the concept of compost tea is basically to activate them um, because after the composting process and if you look for instance at this white stuff here this is all microbes yeah this is full of in this case carbon and nutrient and, and nitrogen um, it's a fungi, which is good, so it, it works on the leaves and breaks it down. But when it's stabilized, this microbes sleep. Yeah. So when they sleep, they have all the nutrients in their bodies, but they're not easily available for the roots. So in order to make them available to the roots, you need to wake them up and make them multiply themselves. Um, and, and that's what we're going to do with, uh, with the compost tea, because normally you have a nutrient availability in the compost of about 10% of the, of the potential. So if you get, let's say, 100 kilos of nitrogen available per hectare, only 10%, only 10 kilograms are available directly, but with the application of compost tea, and we recently did a trial there, even with uh, lab results and everything, analysis, um, this 10% went up to 40-50%. So it, it uh, increased by four or five times, which of course has an immediate... Um, effect on, on productivity, specifically as this increase happens within a week or 10 days. Compost normally reacts over a year, so you see a result in the next season, but with the compost tea you stimulate um, soil life and availability of nutrients on a very short notice.